It's been 10 years since the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut, sent shockwaves through the country. As we remembered the unthinkable tragedy, part of that portrait of grief includes the first responders who arrived on scene to find 20 children and six teachers dead. Police chiefs here in Maine reflected on the impact of that day. The years, and this, this was one that certainly has uh, had, had us all pause and uh, look at everything that we're doing. You know, certainly with that that happening and some of our more recent events, uh, active shooters, uh, incidences, uh, trainings are at the forefront of everything. School resource officers being a huge component of that. You know, we we have to be thinking about this and and be preparing our staff, ourselves, mentally and both physically through training to be prepared for. Uh, a response. You know. Gorham Police Chief Chris Sanborn says responses have changed. At the beginning of his career more than 30 years ago, initial responding officers were expected to surround the incident and then wait for backup. Training and policies have evolved since then, and now he says the model looks a lot different. Now the policy is whether you have one officer on scene immediately or five, you get there, you engage the suspect now, correct? There's no waiting around anymore. That's absolutely correct. They are also reminded of another troubling trend, the phoning in of fake active shooter hoaxes, including one recent event in November that spread statewide and plunged multiple school districts into chaos. So when the hoax came out, we actually had a training day scheduled and within a matter of minutes, an entire training day had been transformed into something completely different. And officers that had not been in uniform were put in uniform. And we had people at schools before some of the schools knew exactly what was going on. They say school threats are a major reason why they consider school resource officers to be crucial positions in their departments. If law enforcement was at your school back then, it was who's going to jail, who's getting in trouble. Now, we've been successful enough with our program that if we're not there, the kids and the teachers alike are asking where we are support our school resource officers and build those relationships to hopefully prevent these types of incidents from occurring in our in our uh, communities and uh, god forbid if something does happen we've got a police officer there to to help deal with that threat immediately the chiefs agree the bottom line is it's a different world than when they all put on the uniform for the first time and unfortunately everybody here has been to a training to speak to somebody that's been to one of these horrible events and what we learn from them every time and how we've got to do it better it's tragic that we're getting better at it because they happen so often. And unfortunately, I don't think anybody here sees it changing anytime in the near future.